So we've had a fantastic day on the water today and we've caught a beautiful kingfish and uh, Damien and myself were just discussing what we we're going to do with it. Um, so what we've decided to do is eat it raw and we've had a bit of a discussion about it. What do you think we should do with it Dame? Well I'm thinking this section here we could do a Japanese style sashimi. Yep. Down the back of the thinner part, some carpaccio, and we'll we'll try something new and special with the uh, the belly part. Let's see. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just pop these bones off around the belly here, and then uh, we just got to come behind these bones, nice and nice soft hands, and just take this belly off like so. So the next thing I need to do is just find out where the bones are. So run your finger down and we're going to come straight down our kingfish here. Okay, put that to the side and the same thing, just spin it around and again just on the side of these bones all the way down. Now these are really, this is really good bait as well, so don't worry about wasting a little bit of this. Let's take that off. Put this to the side as well. Now Damien, you reckon straight across here? Yeah, I think so. Nice, uh, nice sashimi pieces. Yeah, just straight across. Straight Let's down, just bro. have a look at the bloodline, see if there's not too much bloodline. We'll take a little bit of this bloodline off. I think a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So run the knife down one way. And then... Gently, if you can see that at home, just gently down this way. Okay, let's just square this off. And slice straight down, wipe your knife. Jeez, it looks nice, it's so fresh, isn't it? It's so fresh. I have seen it that fresh. Nah. Most of the time, they've been in the markets for a little while, probably a couple of days old. But as you can see how fresh this um, this kingfish really is, it's going to be superb, Damien, I think. Beautiful. And uh, then we might get you to look at doing the uh, capaccio. Alright, so with this piece, you are, yeah, a little bit of sinew in the tail end here, so you want to slice it a lot thinner. What I tend to do is just come in, with the knife on an angle. Beautiful. Just slice through as thin as you can. Yeah. So we'd use this in the restaurant for, um, <clears throat> uh, what would you dress it thin. with? I mean, we don't have any lime or, or lemon, but you would use, probably use lemon, lime, something like that, some yeah, sort of a citrus? You'd keep it very simple. It'd be a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, maybe some fennel, some chili. Yeah. And yeah, just a, a little squeeze of lemon or lime juice at the end. Yeah. It'd be fantastic. Board there for you. Um, yeah, so you don't want to, I suppose, overpower the fish, would you? No, definitely not. It's, I mean, especially with fish this fresh, you want to want to keep all that flavour. So it's minimal ingredients. Yeah. Um, simple flavours. And what and, about uh, when we're um, dry filleting fish? Um, you know, what are the benefits of that, do you think, Damien? You know, we dry fill it, we don't let it touch fresh water again. I think it just uh, retains all the flavour, the original flavour of the fish. Yep. You, know, you don't you don't wash it away, you don't dilute it. And um, yeah. Now let's talk about the belly. Okay, Damien and myself have been thinking about what we're going to do with the belly, and uh, we've come up with this little dish. So Damo, what we're going to do with it? All right, something as I said, the uh, the belly's nice and fatty. I think what we'll do is we'll just um, keep it very simple. Yeah. Two flavours. Yeah. Three flavours. Yeah. A little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, sesame oil that we found on the boat and uh, just the kingfish itself, and and I think. Scott's welding torch. Welding torch, why not? Let's try it. <laughs> right. well, let's have a go. So are you just gonna rub some of this on? I think, yeah, just a little tiny bit just of a little bit. sesame oil on there. Okay. It's very strong, so you don't yeah, need much. Yeah, so we don't need much. And on the other side as well? Yeah. Beautiful. Just a little bit of sesame seed oil. So what else? A little sprinkle of, uh, of salt here. Yep. It helps, so, um, the salt actually, it, it flavours it, like brings out the flavour, but it also increases the heat when you hit it with the, the welding torch. torch. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how that goes. I think just one side so it's not too salty. Yep, okay, cool. And then... Um, just lightly over the top, Damien. Slightly over the top. Pop some of this on here as well. And just stop us from melting the board. <laughs> okay. 
and I'm not so scared about getting a bit of colour on it. Look at that. Uh, depth of flavour to it. Yeah. What do you reckon? That's enough? I think that's it. Beautiful. We're going to pop that on the plate now. So there you have it guys, we've got our beautiful carpaccio, which Damien uh, sliced up. Uh, we've got a fantastic sashimi, um, and also we've got some uh, blow-torched belly there, Damien, that it's we came up with. <laughs> I would have thought. <laughs> that was a little bit different, so we hit that with a little bit of high heat. So uh, what are you going to try first, Damien? Look, I'm going to go for the belly. The Made belly? Up. Let's try it. Yeah, we'll have a go at the belly, let me see what you think. Otherwise. Be interesting. Give it a little bit of soy. Yeah. How is it? It's delicious, actually. Delicious? Oh, well, it's good. Maybe we put it on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should. Oh well, you got to have a little bit of, you know, try, try a little, have a few different textures in there, you know. Okay. Ideas. Oh mate, fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! Really is good, eh? Fresh, fresh kingfish. You can't beat it.